and we're back. Finally, <clears throat> this series has been dormant for six months, and uh, I wanted to bring it back. I hate starting stuff that I never finish, and so we're going to do it. We, I said we're going through all of them, and we're going through them all. This is ranking all of the number 10 spots on my ranking. So, I haven't done this in six months. So, a recap. Um, I have a playlist of where I ranked all 30 MLB teams. And I did that from... When I start? April. I started April 2019. Finished up in July 2019. One week before the trade deadline and before I went to the summer camp. And then everything got shook up in the, in the trade deadline. People were going everywhere. But anyway, um... And then in December, I'm like, hey, why don't I rank the top spots from all the teams? So I did that, and I've just been doing that. Now we're on technically like season 2, episode 10. This is the 10th rated spots. So go check out the rest of those. Um, this is a lot of fun. And uh, so let's get started. Number 30, Mark Trumbo. Uh, uh, no, no, uh, the Orioles, no. You are, you are, no. Grayson Griner, uh, the uh, catcher for the Tigers. No, you're also bad. Brad Boschberger of the Royals. Get out of here. William Castillo of the White Sox. Mm -mm, you're, you're, you're all bad. Nick Williams of the Phillies. First National League player on here. You had a down 2019. It was, it was very subpar. Very, very bad. Her Herman Perez. It's sad. When I don't know what team you're on... <laughs> And you suck that much. I know it's not the Reds, because I would guess the Reds. I'm just going through my head. So if I think of a team that doesn't have a Herman Perez on it, it's you. But you're so bad, I forget what team you're even on. Kyle Freeland of the Rockies. Uh, terrible. You're not, you know. Cara Wood Jr. of the Mariners. Then, then he was on the Cubs, now he's on the Mariners, and you're still bad. Just a lot of bad pits here at the bottom. Jose Arrhenia, starter for the Marlins. Mm -mm, you're not it, Chief. Greg Holland. Funny story with him. The Cardinals acquired him. I was hyped. He got injured. Stayed injured. Went to the Diamondbacks, which he, he is here. And done nothing. So, no, I'm sorry. We got Michael Walker of the Cardinals. Now in the Mets, um... Decent 2019. We're into the decent people now. And by decent, we mean Matt Joyce, because I, I, I love Matt Joyce. But <laughs> he was on the, I think this is the Braves spot. Yeah, the Braves. Okay, number 18 on the list, we have Tucker Barnhart, catcher for the Reds. Ah, there's better. There's better. Chad Pinder, 17. 40 athletics. Um, I'm, no, no. Trevor Cahill at the Angels. Try again. Ryan Healy at the Rangers. No, you, you, you guys are all terrible. Now, this is controversial. Number 14, I have Jose Barrios of the Twins. He's underrated. I've made this list. I started making this in January. We're in June. So, and then also I finished this up in February. So, I've had this list ready for a while. I told myself I wasn't going to change anything. Because there's some questionable pits ahead of Jose Barrios, who's within the All-Star game. Very good for the Twins. One of their best starters. Actually, probably the best. Better than Jake or Rizzi. So, um, yeah, very questionable. I have just some margin of the Giants ahead. That thing had to come when I'm making a video. Great. So, uh, I have just some margin of the Giants, which you know. Ronald Guzman. I think I just put you ahead because you had a gold glove. And uh, Jason Godfrick Kipnis. The freaking Indians. All ahead. I think that's a huge mistake. Jason Kipnis not on the Cubs. I, I, I don't want him. Uh, Ronald Guzman, uh, no. And uh, Justin Marger, no. So he... Jason Kipnis... Not Jason Kipnis. Jose Barrett can move up this list. Number 10, Ahmed Rizal at the Mets. I think he had a pretty A+. Plus. Not, not A+, plus, but like... A pod the 2019 result. I wouldn't be mad at that. Teoscar Hernandez... Hit some home runs for the Blue Jays. He he contributed. Chris Taylor, injured for the Dodgers, but even still injured, he made an impact. I really like it. Number seven on the list, we have Ryan Presley, one of the best relievers for the Astros. So, I mean, not bad. 
We have Colin Moran at number six on the Pirates. I think this is the highest a Pirate ever placed. I mean, compared to some of the rest of his duds on the list, he actually does pretty decently, so I'm very impressed. In the top five, we have Kevin Kiermaier, Gold Glove winner, center fielder for the Rays. And, um, I mean, I'm, I'm not mad by his results. He, he, um, you can say what you want about the plate, but his arm is very good. He can hit triples and everything. Now, we have the Franimal, Franimal Reyes. What more do I have to say? You're awesome. Okay, he went on the Padres, not on the Indians, so, uh, so yeah, the, the Franimal is here. Number three, Patrick Corbin. Uh, very, very crucial for that Nationals World Series win in 2019 to win the World Series over the Astros. I think it would be very good that they were able to acquire, um, uh, what were they going to do? They're able to acquire Patrick Corbin from, what, the Diamondbacks, I think, in the 2018 offseason? Number two, we have J.D. Martinez of the Red Sox. Questionably, or argumentatively, one of the best DHs designated hitters in the American League. Him and Nelson Cruz. Jose Soler is also getting in the conversation, too. But, he is, um, in a league of his own, he's really good. The Tigers, he was good. The Diamondbacks, he was good. The Red Sox, he's very good. Won a World Series. What more can you want? He is number two on this list, by far. It's up number one. I'm just going to close this up because it's obvious number one is. It's a road of Chapman. I don't know how he was 10th on my ranking of the Yankees, but he takes the top spot. It's, it, it's a road of Chapman. Closed the game down for the Reds. Closed game down for the uh, Cubs in the 2016 World Series. Closed step down for the Astros until they got to use trash can in game six of the 2019 ALCS. But you see, uh, we don't talk about that. But anyway, uh, he's an elite pitcher. He's an elite. Um, I love a of Chapman, but I used to do these off of favoritism, and now I do it off of stats. I think it's, it's a lot more better because on my first one, I had like Javier Baez and Justin Verlander ahead of Mike Trout, who the best, and I had Cody Bellinger and Nolan Arenado toward the bottom of the list, so, uh, I switched my methods, and I'm going off of stats, I'm really excited to bring this, uh, this series back, and, uh, yeah, we just have 11 through 25 to go, and then I might do it for 2020, I might find some other, some other thing to do, uh, okay, cool, um, end of the video, bye.